Hi, I'm Mark Ryan. Earlier this year, I released a brief video that covered the pros and cons of two popular deep learning frameworks, FastAI and Keras. Both of these frameworks are accessible to non-specialists who need to explore deep learning, and they both make it easy to create deep learning applications without having to deal with all the messy details. In my earlier video, linked to in the description of this video, I reviewed the high-level differences between the two environments and contrasted Hello World and NIST models in each framework. In this video, I'm going to dig a bit deeper into two characteristics of the frameworks, curated datasets and environments for running experiments in each framework. By looking a bit closer at these two aspects, I hope that you will find it easier to decide which of these frameworks is right for you. One of the obvious differences between FastAI and Keras is curated datasets. These are datasets that are accessible directly from the APIs of the frameworks. By making curated datasets available, these frameworks make it easier for people who are exploring deep learning to focus on model training without having to spend a lot of time, and potentially a lot of frustration, trying to wrangle the data. FastAI supports 34 datasets with an additional 18 variations, for a total of 52 curated datasets. These datasets cover a broad range of use cases, including image classification and localization, that is, finding the location of an object in an image, text, audio, tabular datasets, and datasets for training recommender systems. Keras supports a much smaller set of curated datasets, just seven, across three use cases, image, text, and tabular datasets. While Keras provides a more limited world of curated datasets, the documentation for the, curated, for the Keras curated datasets is much clearer than the documentation for the FastAI curated datasets. And Keras curated datasets work in Colab without having to mount drive. Here you can see the difference in scope between FastAI and Keras curated datasets. FastAI, the blue boxes, has over 50 datasets available across six categories. Keras, the green box, has only seven datasets. Note that there are four datasets, bolded in the tables, that are curated datasets for both FastAI and Keras. Two variations of the CIFAR image classification dataset, the MNIST image classification dataset, and the IMDB text dataset. Another point of comparison between FastAI and Keras is your choice of environments to run the frameworks in. FastAI is available out of the box in Google's Colab. Colab is free, but it has some idiosyncrasies, in particular because you have to mount drive as your file system. To avoid these idiosyncrasies, you can take advantage of the FastAI notebook environment in Paperspace Gradient. This environment has its own quirks. For example, when you want to save the encoder for a model, you need to employ a workaround because FastAI insists on saving the encoder in the dataset path. And in Gradient, this path is not writable. In addition to the cloud environments I just talked about, you can install FastAI locally. I did this on my Windows machine using PIP, which required me to install PyTorch first, then FastAI. When I ran a simple Hello World MNIST example, I ran into a couple of issues, but the workarounds weren't hard to find. My machine does not have a GPU, so it took over 40 minutes to do a single epic training run for the MNIST example. Keras is also available out of the box in Colab and Paperspace Gradient, and I have not had to do any workarounds to run Keras models in either environment. I've had the Keras implementation of TensorFlow 2 on my local system for over a year, so I had no issues running the Keras version of the MNIST notebook on my local machine. Again, no workarounds required. And that's a quick summary of the pros and cons of FastAI and Keras when it comes to curated datasets and development environments. FastAI has a larger set of curated datasets that covers a broader range of use cases than Keras. The Keras curated datasets have better documentation and they're available out of the box in Colab. Both frameworks are shovel ready in Colab and Paperspace Gradient cloud environments and are relatively easy to install in a local system. To get the most out of FastAI and Gradient or a local installation, you need to be willing to look for workarounds for some issues, while the happy path for Keras just works. Also, if you are doing experiments on a local system without GPUs, 
you will be able to train a minimal image classification model in less than a minute in Keras, while the same model could take over 40 minutes in FastAI. Overall, however, the benefits that FastAI brings in terms of API simplicity and built-in support for a wider range of use cases more than make up for these minor environment issues. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.